In this video, we're gonna walk through exactly how to set up appointment booking inside Go High Level step by step. What's up everyone? My name is Eric Hunsker, and if you've ever opened up the calendar section of Go High Level and immediately felt overwhelmed, don't worry, it's totally normal. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to build a working calendar system, control your availability and time slots, sync your calendar with Google or Outlook, add payment, video calls, and follow-ups automatically, and automate the whole process with reminders and cancellation flows. Let's walk through this full process so you can get your calendar up and running today. How appointment booking works in Go High Level. So the calendar feature inside Go High Level isn't just a place to keep track of your day. It's actually a full-blown appointment engine. You can build out custom calendars that lets people book time with you or your team, collect info from them beforehand, trigger reminder emails or texts, and send everything to your Google or Outlook calendar automatically. Go High Level simplifies appointment booking by connecting calendars and marketing tools. It helps grab leads, book appointments, send automatic reminders and follow-ups, and handle payments all in one place. You can tweak your calendar and get automatic confirmations. Plus it works with your customer info, making it more than just a scheduling tool. It's an all around way to manage appointments and keep customers happy. Now, if you wanna get started with Go High Level, if you haven't already, we'll have a link for you down in the description below where you can go ahead and get started with a free 14 day trial. All you need to do is click this link, sign up with an email and phone number, enter in your credit card information, but you will not be charged until after the 14 day period. So you can try it out, make sure it's right for you, and then either decide to keep Go High Level or go your separate ways. Links down in the description to get started with Go High Level. Step one, setting up your calendar. First, let's head in to Go High Level and we'll click on calendars in the left-hand menu. From there, we're gonna hit create calendar in the top right-hand corner. Here's where it can get a little confusing. You'll see several different types of calendar options. You don't need to overthink this. If you're just getting started, pick either personal booking calendar or round robin calendar. Round robin calendars give you more flexibility, even if you're the only one taking appointments. That's what we'll use for this walkthrough. Once you click to create a new round robin calendar, the system will ask you to add a team member. If that's just you, no problem. But you'll still need to create a user profile under my staff. Just enter your name and email and you're good to go. From there, name your calendar, something like book a call or schedule with me. Set a custom URL slug for it and confirm. Once that's done, click into the calendar settings to start customizing it. So let's go ahead and walk through those steps together. So inside Go High Level, we'll go ahead and click on Create Calendar. And we're gonna select Round Robin. We'll go ahead and call this Appoint Appointment Test. We'll go ahead and select Team Members. And again, there's no data in here, so we'll have to go back and add that. We'll come over here to My Staff, Add User, and go ahead and fill out this information. And we'll go ahead and click Next, and we'll go ahead and click Save. We'll come back to Calendars. We'll click on Create Calendar, select Round Robin. We'll call this Appointment test go ahead and select our team member and then here we can go ahead and create this custom url so we'll call it new appointment for eric we'll go ahead and select 30 minutes we'll select monday through friday and eight to five we'll go ahead and click on confirm and just like that we've got a new booking system so we can go ahead and preview what this will look like and as you can see we can go ahead and book something here let's maybe something for 8 30 next week click on select and then here we have this information for the clients to go ahead and fill out so now let's talk about when you're actually available so inside the calendar settings you can set which days you're open for booking and what times you're available each day for example you could be open monday to friday from nine to three and closed on weekends you also get control over over how your time is shown. If you want a little breathing room between appointments, you can add a buffer like 15 minutes after each meeting to catch your breath or write notes. Maybe you only want to open your calendar two weeks out, or maybe you need at least 24 hours notice for any new bookings. You can control all of that. You can also limit how many appointments you'll take each day or how many people can book each time slot, which is especially useful if you're hosting group sessions or classes. So let's go ahead and we'll come over here. We'll go ahead, click on edit for that calendar. And here we can go ahead and change some different things here. So if we come over to availability, this is where we can get more specific with the availability. Maybe you only have certain availabilities on certain days, you can go ahead and do that. They also have this look busy feature. So this will hide the number of available slots by a percentage. So maybe you want to look a little bit more busy and we could hide it by 50%. Here you can go ahead and change the minimum scheduling days. So maybe that's hours, weeks or months. So maybe you want at least an hour 
before someone can go ahead and book it. Or maybe you want days or maybe you want weeks. So maybe something like two days, you could go ahead and get the scheduling notice. Date range, we'll go ahead and put that out to 14 days. Maximum bookings per day, we'll go three. Maximum bookings per slot per user, we'll go one. Pre-buffer time, we'll go 15 minutes. Post-buffer time, will also go 15 minutes. We'll go ahead and click save. And now when we go to look at the calendar booking, we're gonna see that it looks a lot different. So now we can go ahead and see that there's like 50% less bookings, so that's cool. And if we go ahead and scroll forward, we can see that it's only for two weeks out. Calendar sync, connecting Google or Outlook. Now the next piece of the puzzle is syncing your calendar. If you already use Google Calendar or Outlook to keep track of your day, then Go High Level can connect with that so you're not getting double booked. Here's how it works. We'll just go to settings, my profile, calendars, choose to connect your Google Outlook or iCloud calendar, log in in approve access. And once your calendar is connected, Go High Level can read your existing events and automatically block off times that you're already busy. You can even turn on two-way sync. So when someone books through your Go High Level calendar, it'll show up in your Google calendar automatically. And if you're working with a team, each team member can connect their own calendars so that the system stays accurate no matter who's on the booking. Adding Google Meet or Zoom. Video Meet Meetings are a big part of running a service-based business these days, and Go High Level makes it easy to add video links to your appointments. If you already synced your Google Calendar, then your Google Meet integration is done automatically. But if you prefer using Zoom, then you'll need to go to Settings, My Profile, and find Video Conferencing and connect your Zoom account. Now, one quick tip, your Zoom account can only be tied to one Go High Level sub account at a time. So if you run multiple brands, you'll need to decide where to use it. Once connected, head back into your calendar settings and make sure the meeting location is set to either Zoom or Google Meet. That's what makes the system automatically generate those custom video links for each appointment. Once you've gone ahead and connected your Zoom account, once you're inside the calendar editor here, we'll go ahead and scroll down to meeting location and we'll select Zoom. Now, right now it's saying the user hasn't connected their Zoom account yet because this is just a demo account. So I don't have my Zoom account connected. So first you need to connect your Zoom account and then this is where you can go ahead and select Zoom or Google Meet. Accepting payments. So want to charge for your time? You can. Go High Level supports Stripe payments right inside the booking flow. And here's how to set it up. Connect your Stripe account under integrations. So go back to your calendar settings, scroll to accept payments section, set your pricing. Maybe it's 50 or $100. Now when someone tries to book, they'll be required to pay before they can confirm the appointment. It's a great way to reduce no-shows and a simple way to sell consultations without needing a separate checkout page. So under our calendars over here, we can go back to our calendar. Now again, first you're gonna have to set up your Stripe account, but then under calendar, we'll come down here. And on the left-hand side under forms and payments, we can come down here and hit accept payments. But first you need to go ahead and connect your Stripe account. Customizing the booking flow. Go High Level lets you tailor the whole booking experience to feel more like your brand. You can add your own logo and colors, change the confirmation button to say book now or let's chat instead of the default. You can redirect people to a thank you page after booking. You can embed the calendar into your website or funnels. You can also connect custom forms to collect extra info. So if you wanna ask new clients, what would you like to cover on our call or how did you hear about me? you can do that easily. Just build a form in the forms section and attach it to your calendar. Don't forget to turn on sticky contacts. This will auto fill a returning visitor's name and email so they don't have to type it all over again. It's a small thing, but it speeds up the booking process and helps you get more appointments. So inside the meeting details here, we can go ahead and add a calendar logo. We could change the name, add a description here, add it to a specific group Group, which we don't have any right now. And we can change this color down here as well. Up here under forms, this is where we can go ahead and add a form. So we can go ahead and select from a form that we already have here. And if you want something other than just that, we can go ahead and make a form and select it from here. Automating confirmation and reminder message. Now for the part that really takes things to the next level, automation. Inside Go High Level, you can create workflows that send emails or texts automatically when someone books. 
Here's how to set it up. Go to Automations, click Create Workflow, choose the pre-built recipe called Appointment Confirmation and Reminder. This template already has the pieces you need. A confirmation email right after booking, a reminder 24 hours before the meeting, a reminder one hour before, and optional internal notifications for you or your team. You can customize each message to fit your tone and brand. Just make sure that the meeting link field pulls in the correct URL using a custom value so that people know how to join. So over here on the left hand side, we'll go ahead and click on automation. So we'll go ahead and click on create workflow and select a recipe. We'll scroll down a bit here and we're looking for the appointment confirmation plus reminder. So we'll go ahead and select that. Now, as you can see, this is the entire flow here. So the trigger is an appointment and you can come in here and edit these emails as you would like. So yeah, if you wanna come in here and change anything, you can, you just come in here and click on it and go in and change the text. Again, it should be good just as is, but you can come in here and confirm that it is gonna go ahead and fit your brand's needs. Handling cancellations and no-shows. Now, even with the best systems, some people will cancel and others just won't show up. That's where cancellation and no-show workflows come in. So you can create a workflow triggered by appointment status canceled that removes the person from the reminder sequences, tags them as appointment canceled, sends a polite follow-up email asking if they'd like to rebook. Same idea for no-shows. If someone misses a meeting and you mark it as no-show, that can kick off a different workflow. You'll tag them as no-show, send a quick message checking in, Include a link to reschedule if they're still interested. And these follow-ups help you recover lost leads without doing it all manually. So if we come back here to workflow, we can come here and hit click create workflow and we'll select the recipe. And we have this no show nurture. So we'll go ahead and select that. And when we come into the automation builder here, we can go ahead and see that this gets triggered when an appointment status is no show. And then it has this following sequence here. So it'll send an email, a text, wait a day, and then send another text. Setting up appointment booking in Go High Level might look complicated at first glance, but once you break it down into these steps, it's actually pretty smooth. You've got the tools to control your availability, add custom questions, automate confirmations and reminders, reduce no-shows, and even collect payments. The system works whether you're a solo creator, a coach, consultant, or running a small team. Once it's up and running, it saves you time every single day. So if you've been meaning to get your calendar system in place, Now's the time. Start with one calendar, keep it simple, and build from there. Now, if you wanna get started with Go High Level, you'll find the link for it down in the description below. This is an affiliate link, which means we earn a small commission when you use it at no extra cost to you. And these commissions really help support the channel and allow us to continue to create free content just like this. So if you end up using it, we thank you so much in advance. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Here on the channel, we make videos dedicated to helping new and existing entrepreneurs get started and succeed in business, so be sure to subscribe. But other than that, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you here in the next video. Thank you.